Are you familiar with the story of Ronald Reed? And what would you do with a multi-million dollar fortune? Most people would undoubtedly spend their money on mansions, fast cars, boats, and even trips across continents to enjoy their fortune. On the other hand, despite having millions of dollars in their accounts, some people will still settle for a mediocre standard of living, just like this janitor who retired with millions in his bank account. But how did he do it, and what is his story? Well, this will surprise you, as it's one of the most stunning financial stories ever. A community in Vermont was shocked to learn in 2015 that Ronald Reed, a retired janitor and gas station attendant, had been worth close to $10 million at the time of his death and had bequeathed around $5 million to his local hospital and library. You may or may not be astonished by how Reed acquired such a large amount of money, but you'll undoubtedly be startled that someone with low circumstances and an unglamorous job could become so wealthy. You might also be pleased to know that the techniques that he used are ones that we can also apply to ourselves. It's so simple. But first, let's start by taking a glance at his way of life. Was he raised in a wealthy family? Well, Ronald James Reed was an American philanthropist, investor, janitor, and gas station employee. Reed was raised in a struggling farming family in Dummerston, Vermont. He was the first person in his family to graduate high school and commuted four miles by hitchhiking to school. During World War II, he joined the American Army and worked as a military policeman in Italy. After receiving an honorable discharge from the military in 1945, Reed moved back to Brattleboro, Vermont, where he spent roughly 25 years working as a mechanic and gas station attendant. Reed then worked as a part-time janitor at J.C. Penney for 17 years until 1997, after taking a year off to retire. This is when he made his millions, surprisingly, as a janitor. The Master Plan Of course, accumulating $10 million, or any other significant figure, involves more than just yearning for it and occasionally saving extra money. To become a millionaire though, you don't need a huge salary. As former Vermont janitor and gas station attendant Ronald Reed proved, you can make seven figures on a small salary. Until his passing at age 92 in June 2014, Reed had secretly amassed a $10 million fortune, which even his family was unaware of. The Brattleboro native led a modest life and avoided making purchases unless absolutely necessary, but his wise approach to investing was what brought in such incredible financial gains. This is how he did it. Investing in Stocks Reed was an experienced stock picker with the control to follow the advice of legendary investor Warren Buffett and acquire and hold equities for the long term. The Wall Street Journal noted in 2015 that Reed, who had at least 95 stocks at the time of his death, didn't always hit home runs. For instance, Lehman Brothers Holdings, the financial institution that failed in 2008, was one of the stocks in his portfolio. He was, however, prepared to commit to his choices for a very long time. For instance, he bought 39 Pacific Gas and Electric shares in 1959. According to the publication, the shares were valued at approximately $2,380. Taking into account later stock splits of 2 for 1 and 3 for 1 that raised the total number of shares to 234 upon his death, they were valued at approximately $10,735 at the time. He also bought stocks that yielded dividends. He would receive $70,000 from those assets in a single year if its average dividend yield was 3.5% when it had a value of 2 million. With that money, he could invest in more rising shares of stock. An overall 3.5% yield on the portfolio's $5 million value would produce $175,000 at that time. Even better, the income would be added to the growth in stock price because dividend payouts often rise over time. Dividends have a lot of power. Reed was a buy-to-hold investor. Also, the fact that Reed kept his stock certificates in a safety deposit box indicates that he probably didn't trade too much. The most popular practice today is to allow your stockbroker to store your stocks in street name, which keeps you listed as the owner but foregoes sending out certificates. As a result, selling shares is quite simple because you don't need to hunt out certificates and mail them in. However, it also makes frequent buying and selling incredibly simple, which has been found to reduce returns. But how did Ronald Reed know exactly what to invest in? Well, every morning, Reed would go to the coffee shop and get an English muffin and a cup of coffee. One day, though, the coffee shop closed its doors, and after that, Reed discovered another store named Friendly's. This was when Reed met the former hospital coffee shop's development manager at Friendly's. At the time, he was encouraged by the manager to visit the library. Once there, he obtained a card, and on that day, Reed began to study investments. 
He would read many books per week and knew the basics of investing because he was so captivated by the subject. According to Ronald Reed's obituary, the turning point in his life was reading about investments when he was at the library. Other than investing though, there were other strategies that Reed used in his life. Can you guess what they were? Investing more, spending less. Reed was known for being frugal. He continued to drive an old 2007 Toyota Yaris and to dress in a ragged denim jacket that he kept up with a safety pin even after becoming a millionaire. Once, someone even paid for his supper because they believed he was in need. His mentality was easy. He eschewed worldly possessions to invest as much as possible in the stock market, frequently at the price of his appearance. Even though he made a lot less money from his day job than most Americans, this way of thinking ultimately helped him become financially successful. The example of Reed demonstrates that wealth doesn't necessarily depend on income. How much you invest is what is important, and if you develop the discipline to invest in index funds each month, you too could become a multimillionaire. It's acceptable if you think that Reed has an excessive lifestyle. The right lesson to learn is that while selflessness is vital, you don't need to dress like a pauper to get wealthy. Find a suitable middle ground instead. If you're a big spender, you should be aware that investing at least a portion of your leisure spending in the stock market will improve your financial situation. But could a janitor in 2020 accomplish what Reed did here? Probably not. Over the past two decades, wage growth has stalled while costs of living have increased. Low wage workers won't be able to continue finding additional money to invest in the stock market. If that does apply to you, online side businesses are the solution. Learn how to use e-commerce or freelance work to earn extra money on weekends and then invest your profits. He did not retire early. You should also give up on the idea of retiring early if you want to become a multimillionaire. Even though he didn't receive a significant salary, Reed accumulated roughly $10 million in part by working a lot. Because of his consistent income, which allowed him to retire at 76, he always had spare money to invest. He did retire from his position as a gas station attendant at one point, only to return to work later as a janitor. Many people discover that retirement is a little duller than anticipated and miss the structure and social interaction that a regular job provides. He kept learning. Mostly though, he used the local library to read the Wall Street Journal, Barron's, and other financial magazines. He also spoke regularly with his neighbor, who was an advisor for Wells Fargo. Also, financial education is becoming even more accessible. YouTube, Twitter, and personal finance blogs offer free information on amassing millions of dollars. Thousands of hours of video content on topics like picking an index fund, starting a side business, raising your credit score, and so much more are available on YouTube. You don't need to enroll in school to learn about personal finance, and you certainly don't need to pay for an influencer's online course either. In fact, most colleges won't even teach you anything about it. In actuality, most paid courses are merely collections of freely accessible knowledge knowledge that can be found online. More than ever, having the desire to learn is all you need to become financially literate. Thanks to the internet, all the information you need to succeed is at your fingertips. He was patient. The force of compounding allowed Reed to amass riches over a long time. To further understand the value of time and patience, consider that his annual growth rate and in income was 10%. 10% of, let's say, $500,000 would be a $50,000 gain for the year, bringing him to $550,000 when he had amassed that much. However, after reaching $1 million, a 10% gain would bring him another $100,000, bringing his total to $1.1 million. A 10% gain would then be worth a staggering $300,000 at the $3 million mark and a full $500,000 at the $5 million mark. However, in the end, he passed away. Brattleboro Memorial Hospital provided care for Reed as his health deteriorated. At the age of 92, he passed away there on June 2, 2014. In addition to his two stepchildren, Philip Brown and Bonnie Brown, Reed was a widower. He was interred at Meeting House Hill Cemetery after his funeral, which was held with full military honors. Nearly 10 $10 million of stock made up most of his estate. He left his stepchildren, nannies, and friends $2 million, and he gave $4.8 million to Brattleboro Memorial Hospital and $1.2 million to Brooks Memorial Library, both of which had budgets of $600,000 and endowments of $600,000 and were consequently impacted by the state's budget crunch with other libraries. These institutions had never received larger donations than these two legacies. Reed also donated a vintage phonograph and a group of drums to the Domestown Historical Society. Numerous newspapers and publications covered the stories of his donations. 
Evidently, throughout his adult life, Reed lived within his means, saved diligently, studied hard, exercised independent judgement, made wise investments, and waited patiently. Without a doubt, he defied the craziness that permeates today's common thinking, both monetarily, economically, and ethically. His achievements were so noteworthy because so few people could duplicate and imitate it today. Like you and me, Ronald Reed was an ordinary person. Could we also build a multi-million dollar portfolio? Yes, it's highly likely, just a little bit of persistence and patience would be needed. That's all for today's video, remember to hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.